Hello Internet, and welcome back to Mocktail Mondays. What makes a mocktail is something that's kind of hard to answer. Mocktails live in a space that's in between things like fresh juices and smoothies, coffee confections, sodas, and teas. And while there might be crossover in terms of ingredients, like the fresh squeezed orange juice that I'm using here, mocktails differentiate themselves in their methodology and preparation. And also mocktails tend to strive for a certain level of balance that you don't get in those other types of drinks. The mocktail recipe that I'm working on here was inspired by a drink I had in a coffee shop in New Orleans. It was a frozen latte that involved espresso and vanilla and a lot of honey, but also orange juice. And it was good and weird and interesting, but a little too sweet. So here I'm attempting to make it a little bit more savory. To do this, I take my simple syrup from last week and I add honey and vanilla to it. And then once all of those flavors are incorporated, I add a tea bag full of thyme and let it steep for 30 minutes. When working on a new recipe, it's always important to taste as you go. It's easy to get caught up in the next step and thinking of all the wonderful things you're going to do to this drink. But if you don't taste it as you go, you don't actually know if it's any good. When you're building a mocktail, especially in a bar setting, you're using ingredients that are pretty intense. All of the mixers are built to be able to withstand going into a drink with spirits. And spirits can be bitter and boozy and stingy and strong. And because of this, you have to play a balancing act when you're making a mocktail. One of the ways I like to do this is to use at least one ingredient that seems at odds with the rest of the build. In this case, it's the coffee. In any kind of drink making, you're rarely gonna get it on your first go. So after I tasted this, I realized it needed something else, and I put some almond milk in it just to give it a little bit of body and to make sure it wouldn't curdle. The result tasted good, but the presentation left a little bit to be desired. So I decided to sleep on it and come back another day. All it took was adding an egg white, and all of a sudden, the mocktail had this beautiful silky body, the presentation was lovely, and it was way easier to garnish with a couple of coffee beans on top. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? Oh yeah, and like any good YouTuber, you need my reaction shot. I said a bad word there, so I decided not to use the audio. Also, my light fell on me. See you next week, y'all.